Hi everyone, in this video, we're taking a closer look at the second type of oolong tea, anxi oolong. If you aren't familiar with oolongs in general, make sure to watch our video about that first. Anxi oolong originates in Anxi County in southern Fujian province. This family of teas is usually called Teguanying or Iron Goddess of Mercy. Teguanying is a varietal of Camellia sinensis that's used to craft most oolong teas from Anxi County. So the name is also used to refer to this entire category. Just like Formosa oolongs, Anzi oolongs are ball rolled to preserve the tea's freshness, but they are traditionally more heavily oxidized and roasted. This crafting method gives traditional Anzi oolongs, like our dark roast teguanying, their classic nutty flavor with notes of toffee. Our light roast teguanying is a more modern, lightly oxidized style, which retains more of the floral green notes of the raw leaves. Teguanyings can also be roasted multiple times to further enhance their nutty flavor. Our monkey pig teguanying double roast is an example of this with a more intense nose. Monkey pig is a term that refers to higher grade teguanying. These teas are not actually picked by monkeys since the monkeys in this region prefer to pick each other. At Red Blossom, we select spring crop teguanyings which are smoother in texture than most you'll taste in China. While Anxi oolongs are forgiving to brew, we always recommend using the Gongfu Cha method for the best flavor. Teguanyings are best brewed at a higher temperature of around 205 Fahrenheit for 30 seconds using more tea leaves. I prefer to use my Yixing pot to brew since it retains heat better and with two grams of leaves per ounce of water. To browse our entire collection of Anxi oolongs, visit redblossomtea.com. Remember to leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos.